decided to name this uh, experience that we're going to have uh, the gamers, <laughs> spelled G A Y M E R S. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just gonna be recording uh, the vod and and uploading it with like zero editing. Um, uh huh. To my own YouTube channel, it's gonna not like totally be a shredded thing unless it's like funny enough, I suppose. Um, okay. But uh, as it stands, uh, it's just this is this is it. And so our first game is going to be Library of Ruina. Now, immediately before we get started, just like maybe five minutes of like um, exposition, so to speak, because this is technically yep. a sequel uh, to a game called okay. Lobotomy Corporation, which is a monster management simulator. Um, uh, inspired by the SCP Foundation, if you know what that is. No. Uh, it's it's basically uh, a creative writing exercise on the internet um, of people just. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're crazy like monster it's like things. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like experiment sixty five. Oh, this monster. Da, 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 yeah. yeah. I remember watching YouTube videos about it like yeah. what forever ago. Yeah. So, just to summarize the plot of the game, effect, uh, and, and Library of Ruina will go over it in more detail anyways. Um, effectively, uh, the game takes place over the course of 50 days, uh, and you as the player have to reset the game, like, effect, uh, periodically, essentially, back to day one in order to actually progress for various reasons. And that is also canonical to what is happening in the story. Um, because uh, what happens is you reset the, the 50 days over and over and over and over again so that within the facility, uh, 10,000 years pass. Um, but, ex but externally, only 10 years pass. Uh, you, as the manager, um, was assisted by an AI robot named uh, Angela, and she could perceive things at 100 times, uh, or, yeah, 100 times the speed of everybody else, I guess. So she experienced a million years. Um, and she also has human emotion. Um, and so the point of the repeating of the, uh, days is to, um, cure the, like, disease of the mind, quote-unquote, which is basically, like, a hopelessness and an inability to face, like, their own emotions and the reality of the society around them from people, uh, and, and to, like, develop sort of, like, a philosophical, um, enlightenment that you, that would then be shared with all of humanity. Um, but when you finally hmm. come to that enlightenment, uh, Angela's really fucking pissed because she experienced a million years of suffering because throughout those 50 days people were dying ad nauseum over and over again. Um, and I guess I'm pretty pissed off too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty understandable. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And yeah. she decided to ruin the plan uh, at the last minute. Um, so what was supposed to happen is that the, the city, which is the main setting of the, of the series, it's, it's just a city called the city um, was supposed to be bathed in light for seven consecutive days um, but it was only bathed in light for three and then it was bathed in darkness for four um, because that's when she interrupted um, Damn. and so the light was inadequately spread amongst the people and uh, she uh, effectively created in the place of the facility a uh, what is called the library and the goal of the library is to collect all of the light back and, and um, um, collect information about the city so that she can quote unquote get the one true book that will turn her into a human uh, mm -hmm. so that she can forget like the million years of pain and whatnot um, hmm. and so okay and so that's what the so story is about so I see what what you were trying to say about like the whole radical acceptance thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Uh, okay, so let's let's now let's now kick it off. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Uh, also, all of it is voice acted, but it's all voice acted in Korean. I don't know if you at all care about like um speaking the lines out loud for whatever like 
VOD would be uploaded, but it's probably not necessary. <laughs> I mean, I can, but like it would maybe. it would be kind of silly. I I would say it'd yeah, be kind of silly. Okay, okay. So like, what do we? Do? You just click. Okay. It. Um, the autoplay button is the speaker in the top right. This one? Uh, yes. Okay. ちょっとだけ、ちょっとだけ、ちょっとだけ、ちょっとだけ、ちょっとだけ、ちょっとだけ、ちょっとだけ、ちょっとだけ、ちょっとだけ、ちょっとだけ、ちょっとだけ、
아니면 이곳은 날개 중한 곳이야? 특이점 연구 실험 대상 자들을 여기저기서 납치한다고 하는데 내가 아는 사람도 그런 실험의 피해로 차원을 넘나들게 됐다고 아... 결국 내 팔자가 그렇지 여기는 도서관이야 어떤 조직을 oh, 하는지 really? 모르겠지만 huh? 적어도 날개는 아니야 관심 없어? 뭐든 간에 난 여기에 갇혀서 무언가를 착취당해야 하는 거지? 그래 너를 살려두는 이유는 두 가지야 첫 번째 초대받지도 않았는데 이곳에 들어온 것에 대한 분석이 필요해 이유도 모르고 oh, so 너를 like 밖으로 special? 내보내거나 살려두는 건 도서관에 있어서 크나큰 위험 요소야 뭐 hmm. 이제 너도 내 허가 없이 나갈 수 없는 몸이지만 두 번째 난 이제부터 도시에 대한 책을 얻으며 단 하나의 절대적인 책을 구할 거야 이 과정을 도와주면 돼넌 도시에서 살고 있는 인간이니까 여러 가지 도움이 될 거라 기대하고 있어 하... 언젠가 이렇게 될줄 알았어 시도새도 모르게 사람들은 사라지고 고깃덩이가 되어서야 발견되고 있으니까 조심성도 uh, 없고 운도 없는 녀석들이라고 비웃었는데 막상 당해보니 조심성도 <웃음> 없고 전혀 상관도 없는 거였네 목숨에 대해서는 걱정하지 마 너는 이곳에서 내가 허락하지 않는 한 죽을 수 없어 진짜 <웃음> <웃음> 미치광 연구소 같은 거 없나? 사진으로 옥수수랑 태엽 yeah, 같은 걸 뱃속에 쑤셔넣고 <웃음> 입에서 팝콘을 쏟는 팝콘 기계 인간 같은 걸 만들려고? 자꾸 안 죽고 안 구만? 그냥 깔끔하게 죽여주는 게더 나을 텐데 Shove random stuff like corn kernels and clockwork into people's stomachs and turn them into walking popcorn spewing popcorn machine men 앞으로도 또 그런 케이스를 하면 What? That's so wild! Yeah, exactly! Don't be spewing nonsense, you fucking weirdo! 난 말같지도 않은 소리에 일일이 반응하는 개짓거리를 너무나도 오래 반복해왔고 I can't see somebody say the bullshittery 정식으로 인사를 할게 내 이름은 엔젤라 이 도서관의 관장이자 사서야 엔젤라. She's also got drip. 좋은 이름이네. She's very stylish. 내가 very 뭘 stylish. 해야 하는데? I, I I love that pixie cut. I swear I had a pixie cut just like that in high school. Yeah, it's to, it's to mark her her new uh, life, I suppose, because uh, she did have long hair um, in the bottom mm. version, and you saw like initially in the in the first cutscene she had long hair to, there too, but she cut it yeah. after she cut off Rowan's limbs. <laughs> <laughs> Good for her. Yeah. She's girl bossing. <laughs> we love girl bossing. Yeah. Pass like gatekeep girl boss. 넌 yeah. 초대 응해 이곳으로 오는 손님을 접대하면 되는 거야. 넌 실제로 도시에서 살았고 해결사일까지 했다고 했으니까 다양한 손님을 더 능숙하게 접대할 수 있겠지. 뭐 그래봐야 퇴물이 된 구급 해결사지만 말이야. 접대라는 oh, 것은 so 뭐야? 바람잡이나 <laughs> 웨이터 yes. 같은 일이라도 하는 거야? 말 그대로 입장한 손님들을 상대해주면 돼 물론 물리적인 의미에서 도서관이 손님들에게 시련을 주면 그 과정에서 책이 펼쳐지기 마련이야 시련을 극복한 손님은 책을 얻을 자격이 있는 거지 응대하는 과정에서 네가 죽더라도 그건 잠시 뿐 도서관이 폐관하면 넌 다시 일어날 거니까 걱정하지 마 이곳에서는 내 허락 없이 잠들 수 없습니다. 너 혹시 해결사한테 okay. 무슨 환상 같은 거 있어? Yeah, and only let us when I say so. 나 그렇게 다재다능한 해결사가 아니야. 내가 할 바는 아니지. 매뉴얼은 준비해 뒀으니까 방법은 적당히 찾아봐. Figure it out. Get to work. Yeah. Man, we love a slave driver. To read the, to read the tutorial. <laughs> Oh, it might be because it's the last 음, 음. one. Oh, never mind. 읽어보니 대충 뭔지 알겠어. 그래서 이 초대장은 어떻게 보내지는 거야? 초대장을 펼쳐놓고 손님들에게 대접할 책을 등록하면 돼. 그러면? 초대장은 자연스럽게 전달될 거야. 준비된 책이 필요한 손님들에게. It's very mysterious process. 그렇게 얼렁뚱땅 진행된다고? Mm, yeah. 초대장은 도서관과 마찬가지로 많은 정성을 쏟아서 빚어낸 내 작품이야. 그래? 나침반 같은 거라고 생각하면 이해가 빠르겠네. 방향을 알려주는 음. 그 나침반? 맞아. 초대장은 내가 얻고자 하는 단한 권의 책으로 인도해 줄 거야. 음. 그리고 책에 따라 초대장이 붉게 변할 때가 있어. 붉은 초대장은 이야기가 흐를 수 있도록 하는 손님들을 알려줘. 붉은 초대장이 <웃음> 의도하는 것과 어긋나면 
이곳에서 멈추게 되는 거지. 저쪽으로 <웃음> 받는다고 <웃음> 교수님이 반드시 온다는 보장은 없어. <웃음> 있어. 그렇게 되어 있거든. I think I can't remember all this. It's like, uh, uh, it'll, it'll just tell you straight up. It, it's, just, it's just giving you, it's, it's exposition rather than it's a story. That's, that's the difference. It's the exposition now and we'll get into the tutorial in a moment. Okay, okay. 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 그렇기에 책들을 통해 음. 도서관을 채워가며 완성해 갈 거야. 그리고 손에 넣을 거야. 나와 이 도서관을 완성시켜줄 단 하나의 book. 완벽한 책을. Yeah. 완벽한 perfect. 책이라. 그 책도 분명 내가 아는 책과 다른 의미의 책이겠군. In a, in a Intro song. I wonder if they're the bad guys. <laughs> no, really? I thought they were like the good guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought they were in like angelic beings or something, you know? Yeah, you know, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you just never know. You never know. So here's the okay. tutorial. Reception begins by sending an invitation to guests whom you want to invite. I want to now get to the question mark to begin the process. So here? Oh, uh, other question mark. Or the this one, one. The one that's, oh, the, the one that's glowing? That has the box around it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one that's glowing? Oh, yeah. that one? Okay. Yeah. Okay, select the episode you'd like to play. It's fun time. Mm, with this panel, you'll provide the setup book required to start the episode book of something yeah hmm it's just, that says it's a just lot something you know not anything in particular <laughs> the screen shows a list of books currently in the library's possession click the native book now okay do that. continue along with the final preparation for the invitation okay okay Okay, we grabbed the book. Now we got us an invitation. Okay, okay, okay. Look and stamp. When you're ready to send the invitation, confirm your choice with the send stamp. Rats. Yeah. Oh, we got it. Some rats. Those zoo goons might arrive at any second. Who are those? It's a, it's a German word. Uh, it means two. It's, it's the German word for the number two. It's why. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, got it. That's squishy noise. <laughs> Just pull them out and take them. 
이대로 나 우리 모가지가 떨어질 테니까. 어? Gotta make a living somehow. So do they sell the body parts? Well, I guess I'll find out. Yeah. That's, why, why, would, why else would they do that? Well, I guess they could be gut harvesting if they want to eat the guts. But it seems yeah, like a rather like... inefficient way of doing so. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Can't look at Peter. Chibai for pet and dumb. Okay. 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 그래 이번 돈이 oh. 그 조직 밑으로 들어갈 기회를 마련해 줄 거야. 자, 한번 볼까? A lot of terminology means run at you right off yeah. the bat here. 너희 장난해? Uh, the important thing to know though is the guys lying about it's rare to find somebody who dreams these days. 제대로 된 장기가 들어 있지 않냐고. 나 무슨 엔케팔린 같은 약에 절여진 매장이라 생각했지. Is actually, actually, is it, yeah, it's the thing that lobotomy corporation sold. It's like a form of energy or something. 이거 말이 안 돼. But it's also used as a drug. 그럼 이미 여기저기 내장이 터진 상태로 거리를 돌아다녔다는 거야. Look, I got messed up. I got a messed up colon, and I I be walking around just fine. I'm just saying. Bad. I mean, you know, there's a guy who turns people into dolls. Living dolls. But I mean, you know, there's a guy who turns people into dolls. Living dolls. But I mean, you know, there's a guy who turns people into dolls. Living dolls. But I mean, you know, there's a guy who turns people into dolls. Living dolls. But I mean, you know, there's a guy who turns people into dolls. Living dolls. 동그란 주황색 문양 같은 게 있긴 했지. 무신가 싶었는데 그런 걸할 만한 놈은 아니었어. 일반적인 회사에 다니는 새님이었으니까. 문양, 문신, 젠장. 설마 이 상황 끝이 될까? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Well, guess you ain't gonna have that dream much longer, my dude. Yeah. 이런 동이 봉투도 몸 안에 들어 있었어. Oh, is that the invitation? Yeah. Give it to me. Yeah. 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 새로 내장 담기를 하기엔 빠듯한데. 이 초대장에 적힌 도서관이라는 곳으로 간다. 책이란 게 뭔지는 모르겠지만 선택지가 없어. 지푸라기라도 잡아야 해. Girl, I don't know if that's a good idea. 이거 그냥 자살 행위 아니야? 어떤 곳인지. It is suicide. 상납이를 못 맞춰서 개한테 죽든 치바이 놈들한테 잡히든 그게 그거야. 살고 싶으면 입 닥치고 따라오기나 해. They're fucked if they continue trying like gut harvesting or whatever because the supply is on their back. They're fucked if they don't do anything because the, the people they're trying to sell the guts to will uh, kill them. Uh, yeah, true. And they're fucked if they go to the library. But it's the one option that they don't know for sure that they're fucked up. Yeah, so might as well. And they actually have like the physical. Yeah.对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对
유적에 있다더라고. 뭐가 됐든 우리는 생일을 맞이할 뿐이야. 수준이 낮아 보이지만 어쩔 수 없지. 저놈들은 뒷골목의 양아치나 떠돌이일 거야. 쥐라고 불러. 조직이라고 부르기조차 민망한 어중이 떠중이들이 돈도 없고 힘도 Just 없어 당장 하루의 벌이만을 바라보는 yeah. 패배자들이야 음... 이건 내 얼굴에 침 뱉었어 알고 Damn. 있어 그래? 아는 사람 중에 뒷골목 출신이 있거든 뒷골목 출신이라고 특별할 건 없지 뒷골목은 도시의 혈관 같은 거니까 오히려 뒷골목 출신이 아닌 사람을 A lot of back alley shit going on it seems like 이곳이 도서관인가 yeah. 생각보다 번듯한 곳인데 yeah, You know they smell nasty yeah. They're stinking up this, this nice place. nice place 환영합니다 손님 이곳은 도서관 저는 도서관의 관장이자 사서 엔젤라입니다 이곳에서는 당신이 원하는 걸 찾을 수 있지만 당신의 소중한 걸 내놓아야 할 수도 있답니다 네가 이거 쥐냐? 여기서 원하는 건다 가져갈 수 있다는 거지 정확히 말하자면 책을 얻을 수 있습니다 물론 그럴 수 있다면 말이죠 책이란 게 과연 돈이 될까? 정보의 가치가 높다면 물론 돈이 되겠죠? 망치! 우리가 지금 똥오줌 가릴 때야? 망치! 붙잡아야 한다고! 그럼 부디 당신의 책을 찾으실 수 있기를. May you find your book in this place. Okay, librarian info. Up here, you can see some bare information about the librarians who are participating in the reception. Okay, we got Mr. Roland. In this section, you can view detailed information about the selected character. Okay. Um. Uh, Combat pages underneath. You can check the list of combat page cards. Oh, uh, so what does all this mean? Uh, we'll get there. Okay, okay. But I press next. Oh, click. press it. I mean, yeah. Okay. Info on the guests that have accepted the invitation to the library is shown here. Okay, okay. So we got Mr. P. You can view detailed information about the selected character. Underneath, you can check the list of combat page cards. The selected character we'll use in there. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Select this bar or press the relevant button to start the battle when you have finished. There are gonna be battles. Oh shit! Yeah, that's how the receptions work. They're bat fights to the death. Okay. A text describes the ability of the page, usually activated upon use. Hmm. Combat three types of offensive dice exist, each corresponding to different damage type. The combat represents the slash damage type. When a defensive die with this icon is played, slash type attack will be performed. Likewise, playing an offensive die with the pierce icon will perform pierce type attack. Lastly, playing an offensive die with a burnt icon will perform a burnt type attack. What? <laughs> wow. Burnt, burnt bang, bang. Okay, attack. okay. <laughs> Ability of an action die written on its right may activate when the die is played based on its condition. Most abilities activate when the attack hits the target or the die wins in a clash against an opposing die. During battle using combat pages needs a resource called light. The of light a character currently has is indicated by the number of yellow icons above them. So these thingies. Okay. Yep. okay. And the cost is the big number in the top left of the card. Okay, so, so now you can what? either click the top button or press the space bar to, to start the scene. A higher speed value offers the following advantages. Enemy speed is lower than yours. You can redirect your their attack to you. Characters with higher speed values will attack first. Okay, so like in Pokemon. Okay, okay. I mean, like in any game. No. <laughs> do you, do you no, not no. Wish to skip the tutorial. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to click it. Okay. Yeah. Please select the speed dice. 
I'm a librarian. So what? Where's the speed it's, dice? It's the thing above his head. Oh. The thing the that's, thing that's you lighting know, up, you mean? Oh, that? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the librarian's hand of combat pages, aka cards. Please select one of them. Okay. I forgot what these things mean already. Um, the higher, co higher cost ones, which is the top left number, are generally better. Um, so on the page is a number of die, uh, mm -hmm. and the range of those die are the numbers shown next to them. Um, and so when it goes to, when you start the scene and the, the page is used, whether it be attacking somebody or, or clashing against somebody, whatever, um, it will roll each of those die in sequence uh, and the number effectively determines what happens, how strong it is. Bigger number, better. Bigger number, better. Um, okay. the red die, uh, hurts the opposing person, the blue die defends you. Um, it hasn't talked about the difference between evade and defense yet, so I'm not gonna mention it. Um, but basically, my like my recommendation for the first thing here would be to play the focus strikes card um because it has because it has the most higher. offensive die yeah. and they've got the biggest numbers uh and you're not Very. fighting anybody w in which you need to actually play strategically yet <laughs> yeah okay that makes sense like in pokemon okay Enemy speed dies. Okay, so then you just point who you want to attack. Yes. You you select one of their speed die to to attack them. So what do these numbers mean on top of their head? That's how fast they are. So you your speed is a three. You rolled a three for your speed. They rolled a one, a two, and a one for each of their speeds. Alright, so like this bro, we're gonna get his ass. Okay. By, pre by pressing Q or clicking on the icon, you can toggle quick load and quick load the action dice are rolled automatically during a battle. Allowing combat to play out smoothly. When quick mode is off, the player must manually roll the action dice. Okay, okay, okay. Basically, keep quick mode on unless you uh, really want to sit there and like think about each individual thing happening in the scene. <laughs> but yeah, it no, would be really like... obnoxious, especially later in the game. <laughs> yeah. With this utility, you can automatically fill the librarian's speed dice with the combat pages in their hands. Targets are randomly determined. This makes the battle process quicker at the cost of precise... Okay. That makes sense. Uh, okay. I will say, even when I'm doing, like, lower tier receptions, uh, when I have, like, higher tier cards or whatever, I never use the auto-select button. No. On a personal level. These are visual indicators showing who the librarian and guest are currently targeting for attack. Toggle them by pressing 1, 2, 3, enemies, clash, librarians, on the keyboard, or by clicking on the icon. I actually totally forgot that you could do that. Much. <laughs> okay. By pressing a space bar or clicking on the icon after the speed dice have been rolled, you begin the combat. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, when only one of the two opposing characters has a dice to play, a one side attack occurs. This happens when a character targets an enemy that isn't targeting them back. Only offensive dice are played in one side attack. The defensive dice will retain. Will be retained until the scene ends or an enemy attempts a one side attack. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when both characters in engagement have a dice to play, a clash occurs. Okay. They usually occurs when the speed dice of two characters target each other. And the clash of results of actions are determined by comparing their roles. Offensive dice can only deal damage equal to the roles by winning the clash. Interactions between defensive dice follow the roles on the next page. Um, basically, what a block does is it will reduce the amount of damage you'll take from an offensive die 
uh, except in the mm -hmm. case you exceed the number, in which case you negate it entirely. Um, mm -hmm. in, in the case of an evade die, you have to exceed the number against an offensive die, or else you will take the full damage. But, evade die will uh, actually be recycled. They can be used, um, it, it, it will be used over and over and over again until it stops clashing against offensive die, uh, or uh, it loses a clash. If, if, if it keeps winning, it'll keep being used. Hmm, okay. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. Yeah. So you just murdered one of them. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. Sorry, my bro. Okay. Taking physical damage. Okay, that. Okay, so. Okay. Guests who meet their demise in the library will be resolved into books? Yeah. They turn into books? That's. Yes, I they turn into books. The higher the guest's emotion level was, the more likely they are to yield books in greater quantity or quality of content. Don't worry about emotion level yet. Even if a librarian dies during combat, they will rise again with the stuff. Okay. So then, uh... You didn't select any pages to use. Oh, oops. I just pressed buttons. <laughs> yeah. You, you hit the spacebar once to roll all the speed die, then you select what pages you're going to use, and then you hit it again to start the scene. Okay, so you hit the spacebar. Or the button in the top of the screen. I, I typically go for the button on the top that's flashing. This one? Yeah. And then you go to the die. Which is... Yeah. The die floating above the guy's head. You click on it. You click on what page you want to use. Oh. Which would be. It doesn't totally this matter. One. But yeah, that works. Let's do that. And one. then you select somebody else's die to to target. And then you hit the button again. And that will and then the the attacks will go off. So, but before you hit the button again, uh, so you'll you'll notice that you, uh, the arrow pointing between your character's speed die and the person you selected speed die is, is orange. Like if you hover over on the speed die, you'll you'll see you'll see that big double-sided arrow. That means your two cards are going to clash against each other. Um, so real quick, click on the die you're hovering over right now, and then hover over the your person's die, Roland's die. So you see both of them at the top now. So what mm. will happen is your 2-3 pierce die will clash against the 1-2 slash die, and then your 1-4 blunt die will hit the person um, on its own. Oh, so then, so then, what? You can change it if you want, or you it just um, let you know. If you want to change it. anything, you right click. Oh. Uh, so then what? You should be able to right click, right? Yeah, I, I guess you need to right right click again. <laughs> uh, I'm on a Mac, so like, how do you right click? You're, wait, no wonder you're, the mouse is moving super slowly. You're using a fucking laptop. Um, more importantly yeah. than that, you should just get like a wireless mouse or something. I do have a wireless mouse. You should use that instead Someone. of a fucking touchpad. <laughs> okay. I'm just throwing that out there. Like, it's just a lot easier and more convenient. Okay, well then, I'll get it next time. Because I don't know where it is, to be honest. Yeah. Oh my god, now I'm gonna start over? <gasps> <laughs> because I deselected the card that you used. Okay. We're gonna use this one. And then. Uh... Right? Yeah. That's now what? About. Then now you can start the scene by hitting the thing on the top. Yeah, there you go. Oh, with the space button, okay. Yeah. 
See what I mean? I forget what, what buttons do what. Okay. A character may inflict to receive two types of damage. There's Physical. only there's only three buttons you have to worry about. Left click, right click, and only if you feel like it, spacebar. <laughs> okay. This is there's only so many buttons. Left click is go, right click is cancel. Spacebar is is the super go, I as I, I guess. Confirm it's confirm, <laughs> left click is confirm, right click is cancel. This is this is the main thing. Okay. Um also you didn't read any of that, did you? No. Um because that wasn't what I was talking about. Basically, there are two bars you'll see underneath each character. The red bar okay. and the yellow bar. The red bar is what you deplete in order to turn them into book and win. The yeah, yellow the bar. Yeah. The yellow bar makes it a lot easier to do that. Um, it's the stagger bar. If you deplete the yellow bar, it will cancel all of their uh, remaining attacks for the turn, make it so that they can't do anything else in the next turn, uh, and furthermore, all of their all damage against them will be increased, basically. Um, so where's the yellow bar? Um, on, on the other, it's opposite to the red bar. Like underneath each character. Underneath each character. Yeah. Oh wait, I gotta click on Roland. Well, it, it, right? we haven't started the scene yet, but so oh, you'll, I gotta no click so you'll, you'll notice in the top left, you you see Pete. He's got the red health bar that says two, the yellow oh. stagger bar that says zero because you depleted it, uh, and then the third bar that is not worth explaining yet. Um, okay. So the yellow's like good. We're good because it's yeah yes. zero. Yeah. Okay. So Pete is not doing anything this turn because you staggered him last turn. Um, you can Wait. either take this opportunity to take him out, or since he's not doing anything, you can prevent any attacks from hitting you this turn by targeting the other girl. Right? Yeah. Can we do it? There Get you your ass! Beep, beep, beep. Oh. But you're pretty close to being staggered yourself. Thankfully, this reception oh. is really dirt easy. <laughs> Motherfucker. Okay. Okay, so we gotta go... We gotta start the scene. Okay. Okay, okay, well, this girl, her stagger levels... Okay, we, we're fucking up this one. Okay. Oh, she's only evading anyways. Oh. How do you know that? What's What does that mean so again? So the blue die with the uh, squiggly arrow, that is an evade die. Oh, skitter away. Duh. Okay. So then... Red, red die so equal attack. Blue die equal defense. <laughs> Has anybody ever lost this reception? That's a good question, but for a moment I was thinking that you might get close. <laughs> <laughs> um, mostly oh, because what you, do I do? Mostly because you skipped the one scene on accident, which allowed them to uh, just one-sided attack you. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oops. Yeah. So let's do Well she's gonna evade. Um, only if she rolls higher than your offensive die. So actually, she has a 0%, um, uh, not a 0% chance, um, but she has a very low chance of evading your focused, your first die on focus strikes, because her die rolls 1 to 3, your die rolls 3 to 5. She would only be able to roll, or she would only be able to evade that first die if she max rolls her die and you min roll your die. But then her evade die will go away anyways, and so you'll at least hit her twice if you use that card. Okay. If that okay. explanation made sense. Kind of. A little bit. Oh, there is an achievement for losing this fight. <laughs> But you have to do it, like, deliberately. The, the, the point is that nobody's ever lost this fight accidentally. Yay, I did it! Hey, woo! Woo, yeah, you beat the tutorial fight. Congratulations. Victory! Victory okay, for somebody who doesn't play video games... <laughs> as somebody who doesn't play video games, I will take it, so suck it. <laughs> Let me have this victory.
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Dude, just hey. saying I haven't... Oh, wait, that's because my phone isn't connected to the internet. Okay, you can check the books you have attained from the reception here. You have failed the reception. Okay, but I didn't fail. We did good. Book of yeah. Wrath. Yeah, you won. Congratulations. Accessory to success. You can check the battle symbols. Your librarians have attained. That you can equip to people. Now it's time to conclude the reception. Exit the stage. The like. Floor press. Curtains. Curtains closed. Let's go! <laughs> I wonder... Okay, we're gonna... Push the phone. Okay. If you go to the house, you can't do anything. If you go to the house, you can't do anything. It's hard to go to the house. Actually, what I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna do real quick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start using the mouse for a second. Because um, I've been writing on and off a script uh, about this game um, and, okay. and the stuff that happens in it. So I'm gonna like run through this script as we go through different receptions um, and uh, talk about like observations that, that I made, probably. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're gonna have to control the mouse again. In this section, you can burn the books if you have obtained, but why do you want to do that? Uh, you'll find out when you click burn books. <laughs> okay. It's not- it's not nice to burn books, though! We're not Nazis, okay? That's, we don't, we don't burn I books mean, in this house. That's a fair point, but, uh, we, we, out here, we, um, we- we like rarity, which means there's scarcity and rarity. So, you- you gotta have- one, each book has to only have one unique copy of it. <laughs> okay, because like, I have this sticker, and it says, You don't have to burn books to destroy a culture. Just get people to stop reading them. It's by Ray Bradbury. Do I know who that is? No, but I thought it was a cool sticker, so I I've, I've heard the name before. So, for, for the aftermath of the rats battle, I have written down that uh, they're... The, the point that they're getting at is stifled individualism, uh, where being part of a collective is a mechanism for survival, but that necessarily means giving up a level of individual freedom. And and this is yeah. normalized in the city, it's, it's standard. Yeah, that, that you have to be a part of an organization to survive, basically. Yeah. It's like survival of the fittest. Yeah. But, Wait, it, but it also it, means that you can't be an individual on your own. By you're, you are deliberately stifling your own ability to express yourself and and uh, embody yourself um, in, in order to survive when you participate in an organization. Anyways, back to the game mechanics. <laughs> uh, so it sounds like you uh, went somewhere and had to do something.
Oh, is this on my, is, is it my internet that's failing? Oh, I think it is. Shit.
<sighs> well, for the sake of this recording, I will say it. Um, I'm just gonna uh, call it here. The internet fucking shat itself, and I am pissed. Um, we'll continue this eventually at some point. Um, what inconvenient timing. Uh, until next time, though, later.